Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell. Michael Yo was there as Hollywood's golden couple made their star status official. I have a hole in my stomach! Prepare to be swept away by the irresistible charisma and comedic genius of Goldie Hawn. Job was not done to my satisfaction. Oh, I got news for you, lady. No job will ever be done to your satisfaction. A cherished actress who has mesmerized audiences for countless decades. Yet, her allure extends far beyond the silver screen. In the realm of her personal life, Hawn's journey becomes even more captivating as we unravel the complexities of her marriages, marked by high-profile divorces that have left the world spellbound. Well, you heard me, damn it. I mean, was Maui nothing to you or Boomer? The way we were able to work that out? But amidst the twists and turns, there is a beacon of enduring love in the form of her remarkable partnership with Kurt Russell, adding a touch of magic to her narrative. I called the nurses around and I went, what's happening? And, and they came around, the doctor came around and he said, you know, Goldie? Join us on an exhilarating exploration as we delve deep into the captivating dynamics of Han's relationships, peering into the depths of her experiences to unlock the profound impact they have had on her, her children, and her career. Early Life Goldie Hawn's early life is a captivating journey that laid the foundation for her remarkable career in the entertainment industry. Born on November 21, 1945 in Washington District of Columbia as Goldie Jean Hawn, she embarked on a life that would be filled with laughter, talent, and an indomitable spirit. Goldie's childhood was infused with a sense of wonder and creativity. Raised in Tacoma Park, Maryland, she displayed an early penchant for performance. Even as a young girl, she exhibited an innate ability to captivate those around her, often entertaining family and friends with impromptu shows and lively antics. Her parents, Laura and Edward Hahn, recognized her natural flair and encouraged her to pursue her passion for the arts. As a teenager, Goldie's adventurous spirit led her to explore the world of dance. Enrolling in ballet classes, she discovered a form of self-expression that resonated with her. The disciplined world of dance became a canvas for her burgeoning talent, and her dedication quickly set her apart. Goldie's charisma and stage presence were undeniable, hinting at the star she was destined to become. The vibrant atmosphere of New York City beckoned, and it was there that Goldie took the next step in her artistic journey. In the early 1960s, she found herself immersed in the bustling world of showbiz, determined to carve out a place for herself. It was during this time that she adopted the stage name Goldie, a moniker that would become synonymous with her infectious energy and golden-hearted charm. Goldie's pursuit of her dreams led her to the iconic dance studio of Martha Graham, a renowned figure in the world of modern dance. Under Graham's tutelage, she honed her craft and embraced the freedom of movement. This period of her life not only enhanced her skills as a dancer, but also instilled in her a sense of discipline that would prove invaluable in the unpredictable world of entertainment. However, Goldie's destiny was not confined to the dance floor alone. The universe had even more grand plans for her, and fate took an unexpected turn when she caught the attention of a talent scout. It was a moment that would alter the course of her life forever. Goldie's unique combination of beauty, charisma, and comedic timing made her a standout, and soon she found herself catapulted into the spotlight. The watershed moment came with her breakthrough role on the revolutionary television show, Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In. Goldie Hawn, with her infectious laugh and endearing persona, became an instant sensation. Her comedic sketches and bubbly personality endeared her to audiences, making her one of the show's most beloved cast members. It was a meteoric rise, and Goldie's star continued to ascend, painting the 60s with the golden glow that would become her signature. Beyond the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, Goldie's personal journey during this time was marked by resilience and determination. She navigated the challenges of the entertainment industry, breaking barriers with a tenacity that would define her career. Her effervescent spirit became a source of inspiration, proving that success could be achieved without compromising authenticity. As Goldie embraced the opportunities that came her way, she also faced the complexities of balancing fame and personal life. Yet, through it all, she remained grounded, drawing strength from her roots and the unwavering support of her family. Her parents, who had witnessed the blossoming of her talent from the beginning, became a constant source of encouragement. You're, you know, and, and I'll tell you, this is more on a more serious note. Goldie's early life was not without its share of romantic adventures. In the whirlwind of fame, she found herself in a high-profile relationship with actor Bruno Winsel. Their love story, played out in the public eye, added a touch of romance to the narrative of Goldie's life. 
However, as the saying goes, the course of true love never did run smooth. The relationship ultimately ran its course, but not before leaving an indelible mark on Goldie's journey. Amidst the highs and lows, Goldie's career continued to evolve. Her transition from television to the silver screen marked a new chapter in her artistic exploration. The 1969 film Cactus Flower proved to be a pivotal moment earning her the prestigious Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. This accolade not only validated her talent, but also positioned her as a formidable force in the world of cinema. The 70s unfolded as a golden era for Goldie Hawn. With films like Shampoo and The Sugarland Express, she showcased her versatility as an actress. Each role revealed a different facet of her abilities, solidifying her status as one of Hollywood's leading ladies. Goldie effortlessly navigates between comedy and drama, leaving an indelible mark on the cinematic landscape. As her star continued to shine, she embraced motherhood, welcoming her first child, Oliver Hudson, in 1976. The joy of family life complemented her flourishing career, providing a sense of balance in the midst of the glitz and glam. Her innate ability to juggle personal and professional pursuits showcased the depth of her character. In the tapestry of Goldie's early life, I called the nurses around and I went, what's happening? And, and they came around, the doctor came around and he said, you know, Goldie? Love emerged as a recurring theme. It wasn't just the romantic entanglements that defined her narrative, but the profound connections she forged with those who became an integral part of her journey. Her enduring friendship with actress Susan St. James became a testament to the power of genuine bonds in the competitive world of showbiz. The 80s witnessed Goldie Hawn continuing to reign supreme in Hollywood. Films like Private Benjamin and Overboard showcased her comedic prowess and box office appeal. Despite the ever-changing landscape of the industry, Goldie's star remained steadfast, illuminating each project with her infectious charm. The 90s marked a period of selective roles for Goldie, as she focused on her family and explored new facets of her career. However, her magnetic presence was never far from the spotlight. Her foray into production, with projects like The Banger Sisters in 2002, showcased her behind-the-scenes prowess. Amidst the glamour of Hollywood, Goldie Hawn's philanthropic endeavors became increasingly prominent. In the early 2000s, she founded the Hawn Foundation, later renamed Mind Up. This initiative aimed to promote mindfulness education for children, emphasizing emotional well-being and mental health. Goldie's dedication to making a positive impact beyond the silver screen showcased the depth of her compassion. As the curtain fell on the early chapters of Goldie Hawn's life, her legacy was firmly established. From the spirited girl dancing in Maryland, to the Academy Award-winning actress and philanthropist, Goldie's journey was a testament to resilience, authenticity, and an unwavering commitment to joy. Her early years set the stage for a life lived with purpose, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts of those who were fortunate enough to witness the golden era of Goldie Hawn. Career Peak and Shift Goldie Hawn's journey through the tumultuous waters of Hollywood is nothing short of captivating. Marked by career peaks that glittered like gold and subtle shifts that revealed the depths of her versatility. The 1980s was a defining decade for Hawn, as she navigated through a landscape where comedy, drama, and romance were interwoven like scenes from a compelling script. As the 80s dawned, Hawn was already a household name, having clinched an Academy Award for her performance in Cactus Flower 1969. Yet it was the beginning of this new decade that saw her career ascend to new heights, much like the characters she often portrayed, resilient, charming, and irresistibly captivating. One of the pillars of Han's success in the early 80s was the uproarious comedy Private Benjamin, 1980. Directed by Howard Zeef, the film cast Han as Judy Benjamin, a pampered woman who joins the army after her husband dies on their wedding night. The movie struck a chord with audiences, not only showcasing Han's comedic prowess, but also challenging gender norms in a way that felt both revolutionary and entertaining. Private Benjamin wasn't just a a box office hit. It was a revelation. Goldie Hawn's impeccable comedic timing, coupled with her ability to infuse depth into her characters, made Judy Benjamin more than just a comedic figure. The film earned Hawn an Academy Award nomination for Best Actress, solidifying her status as a versatile performer who could seamlessly transition between genres. As the 80s progressed, Hawn ventured into the romantic comedy genre with films like Seems Like Old Times and Best Friends. These movies showcased her ability to light up the screen with romantic chemistry while maintaining the comedic charm that endeared her to audiences. Collaborating with actors like Chevy Chase and Burt Reynolds, 
Han demonstrated her adaptability in a genre that requires a delicate balance of wit and warmth. However, Goldie Hawn's career peak wasn't confined to the laughter-filled corridors of comedy. In 1984, she took on a more dramatic role in Swing Shift, directed by Jonathan Demme. Set against the backdrop of World War II, the film delves into the challenges faced by women who entered the workforce during the war. Hawn's portrayal of Kay Walsh, a woman who finds herself working in a munitions factory while her husband is away at war, showcased a different facet of her acting prowess. Swing Shift represented a significant shift in Han's career, proving that she could tackle nuanced, dramatic roles with the same finesse she brought to comedic performances. Despite facing challenges during production, including a change in director and re-editing, Han's commitment to the character and the narrative shone through. The film, while not a massive commercial success, underscored Han's ability to take on diverse roles and venture beyond the confines of her established comedic persona. Another notable chapter in Han's 80s journey was the action comedy Protocol. Here, she portrayed Sonny Davis, a cocktail waitress who inadvertently becomes involved in international politics. The film not only showcased Han's comedic talents, but also demonstrated her knack for physical comedy and on-screen charisma. Protocol was a testament to Han's enduring appeal across various genres and her ability to tackle roles that combined humor with action. Amidst the laughter and poignant moments, Han's personal and professional life intersected in the most serendipitous way during the 80s. Her long-term relationship with actor Kurt Russell, which began in 1983, added a layer of stability and companionship to her life. The couple's on-screen chemistry spilled over into real life, creating a Hollywood power duo that captured the public's imagination. While Han's career was undeniably soaring during this period, there were also subtle shifts that showcased her desire to explore new facets of the entertainment industry. In 1987, she took on the role of producer for the film Overboard, a romantic comedy that reunited her with Kurt Russell on screen. This venture into production marked a strategic move to exert creative control and contribute to the filmmaking process beyond acting. Overboard was a critical and commercial success, further establishing Han's prowess not just in front of the camera, but also behind the scenes. Her foray into production hinted at a broader vision for her career, one that extended beyond being a celebrated actress to actively shaping the narratives she brought to life on screen. The late 80s saw Han continue to explore diverse roles, from the heartwarming comedy Wildcats to the romantic fantasy Bird on a Wire. Each film added a new layer to her filmography, showcasing the depth of her talent and the enduring appeal that made her a beloved figure in Hollywood. As the curtain fell on the 80s, Goldie Hawn emerged not just as a comedic icon but as a versatile actress who could seamlessly transition between genres. Her career peak during this period was marked by critical acclaim, commercial success, and a willingness to embrace roles that defied expectations. Simultaneously, her subtle shifts into production hinted at a desire to shape the narratives that defined her cinematic legacy. In retrospect, the 80s stand as a golden era for Goldie Hawn, where laughter echoed through theaters, romance blossomed on screen, and dramatic moments revealed the depth of her talent. It was a decade that encapsulated the essence of Han's career, a dazzling journey filled with peaks of success and subtle shifts that illuminated the multifaceted artist beneath the iconic smile. Personal Life and Family Goldie Hawn's marriages and divorces have been significant milestones in her personal life, shaping her journey as both an actress and an individual. Let's delve deeper into the details of her relationships and the lessons she has learned along the way. Goldie Hawn's first marriage to Gus Traconis in 1969 marked the beginning of her foray into matrimony. Traconis, a musician and director, shared a brief but meaningful chapter of Hawn's life. However, as with many young relationships, the couple faced challenges that ultimately led to their divorce in 1976. Despite the end of their marriage, Han and Traconis maintained an amicable relationship, showcasing their maturity and respect for one another. In the early 1980s, Goldie Hawn's life took a transformative turn when she met actor Kurt Russell on the set of the film Swing Shift in 1983. Their chemistry was undeniable, and they quickly became romantically involved. The connection between Han and Russell was not only romantic, but also a deep friendship that has stood the test of time. Although Han and Russell have been together for over four decades, they have chosen not to marry. Their decision to forego a formal marriage ceremony has been a deliberate choice, rooted in their belief that love and commitment can thrive without the institution of marriage. This unconventional approach to their relationship 
has drawn both admiration and curiosity from the public. While Kurt Russell has been a constant presence in Hahn's life, her previous marriage to musician Bill Hudson was marked by more turbulent times. Hahn and Hudson tied the knot in 1976 and welcomed two children, Oliver and Kate Hudson, into the world. However, the marriage encountered significant struggles, leading to their separation and divorce in 1982. Love and respect for your husband and life partner. The divorce between Hahn and Hudson was not without its share of public scrutiny and media attention. The tabloids often sensationalized the split, focusing on the personal struggles and contrasting narratives of the former couple. Despite the difficulties, Hahn and Hudson have made efforts to prioritize their children's well-being and maintain a cordial relationship. And now, at 78, Golden Hahn reveals the reasons for her divorces. She said in an interview that, The basic problem was that two men I fell in love with and married just could not cope with the pressure of having a wife who is more successful than they were. Goldie Hahn's experiences with marriage and divorce have undoubtedly shaped her perspective on love, relationships, and personal growth. In interviews, she has emphasized the importance of maintaining open communication, mutual respect, and the willingness to evolve alongside one's partner. Hahn believes that a successful relationship requires continuous effort, adaptability, and a commitment to personal growth. Her decision not to marry Kurt Russell has been a conscious one, reflecting the couple's desire to define their relationship on their own terms. Hahn has expressed that the absence of a marriage certificate because it's so devastatingly horrible does not diminish the depth of their commitment and the love they share. Their enduring partnership serves as a testament to the power of love, trust, and shared values. Goldie Hawn's experiences with marriage and divorce have contributed to her growth as an individual, shaping her views on personal fulfillment and happiness. She has become an advocate for self-discovery, emphasizing the importance of maintaining one's own identity and pursuing individual passions within a relationship. How has Goldie Hawn's approach to relationships and marriage influenced her children? Goldie Hawn's approach to relationships and marriage has had a significant impact on her children, both personally and professionally. Her emphasis on open communication, personal growth, and prioritizing happiness has influenced their own perspectives on love, commitment, and self-discovery. Goldie Hawn's children, Oliver and Kate Hudson, have spoken openly about the positive influence their mother has had on their own relationships and outlook on life. They have expressed admiration for her ability to maintain a strong bond with their father, Bill Hudson, despite their divorce. Hahn's commitment to co-parenting and fostering a healthy relationship with their father has undoubtedly shaped Oliver and Kate's understanding of the importance of maintaining family connections and harmony. In terms of romantic relationship, Goldie Hahn's unconventional approach to marriage and commitment has influenced her children's views. Oliver and Kate have grown up witnessing their mother's enduring partnership with Kurt Russell, which defies traditional marriage norms. This has allowed them to see firsthand that love and commitment Commitment can thrive without the formal institution of marriage. Both Oliver and Kate have expressed their appreciation for their mother's emphasis on personal growth and self-discovery within relationships. They have embraced the idea that individual fulfillment and happiness should be prioritized alongside the pursuit of a committed partnership. This mindset has likely influenced their own choices and approach to romantic relationships. Professionally, Goldie Hawn's successful career as an actress and her commitment to personal growth have also had an impact on her children. Oliver and Kate have followed in their mother's footstep, pursuing careers in the entertainment industry. They have often spoken about the influence their mother's work ethic, passion, and dedication to her craft have had on their own pursuit. Goldie Hawn's influence on her children extends beyond their personal lives and careers. She has also been actively involved in philanthropy and promoting mental health awareness, which has undoubtedly shaped their values and commitment to making a positive impact in the world. Overall, Goldie Hawn's approach to relationships and marriage has influenced her children in profound ways. Her emphasis on open communication, personal growth, and the pursuit of happiness has helped shape Oliver and Kate's understanding of love, commitment, and the importance of maintaining strong family bonds. Her unconventional approach to marriage has also influenced their views on the institution itself, encouraging them to prioritize personal fulfillment and happiness within their own relationships.
Now it's time for our subscribers to pick. In this powerful photo, we see Goldie Hawn, now at 78 years old, with tears in her eyes, as she reveals the reason for her divorce. The image shows her vulnerability and openness about her past. Next to this, there's another picture of Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell. They are smiling and radiating happiness. Their relationship is different from traditional marriages. They have chosen a path that doesn't involve getting married, but their love and connection are strong. These photos tell a story of Goldie Hawn's journey. She has faced challenges and learned from them. She believes in personal growth and finding happiness. Goldie inspires us with her authenticity and courage. She shows us that love can be found in different ways and we can create our own paths and relationships. Goldie Hawn's story teaches us to be true to ourselves and to embrace our own unique journeys. She reminds us that happiness and love can be found outside of societal expectations. Her strength and resilience continue to inspire us all. Do let us know your view in the comment section. Goldie Hawn's Selflessness and Philanthropy Apart from her relationship saga in the past, Goldie Hawn's commitment to mindfulness and philanthropy exemplifies a unique blend of personal growth and social responsibility. In a world often characterized by rapid pace and perpetual connectivity, she stands out as a beacon of intentional living, intertwining the principles of mindfulness with a fervent dedication to making a positive impact on the lives of others. Mindfulness, for her, is not just a fleeting trend, but a way of life. It's a conscious effort to be fully present in each moment, to cultivate a deep awareness of thoughts and emotions without judgment. Her journey into mindfulness wasn't sudden. It was a gradual realization that amidst the chaos of modern life, there was a need to create space for introspection and connection with the present. Practicing mindfulness has become an integral part of her daily routine. From mindful breathing exercises to meditation, she invests time in activities that ground her in the present. This deliberate practice has not only enhanced her mental well-being, but has also shaped her perspective on the interconnectedness of humanity. Through mindfulness, she has discovered a profound sense of compassion and empathy, recognizing the shared human experience that transcends cultural, social, and economic boundaries. This newfound awareness serves as the foundation for her philanthropic endeavors. Her approach to philanthropy is deeply rooted in the belief that small acts of kindness can have a ripple effect, creating positive change on a broader scale. Whether it's supporting local charities, volunteering at community events, or initiating her own projects, she channels her energy into making a tangible difference in the lives of those less fortunate. One of the cornerstones of her philanthropic work is education. She firmly believes that education is a powerful catalyst for social change, providing individuals with the tools to break the cycle of poverty and inequality. Through scholarship programs and educational initiatives, she aims to empower marginalized communities, giving them the resources and opportunities needed to build a brighter future. Her philanthropic efforts extend beyond geographical borders. Inspired by a global perspective, she actively engages in initiatives addressing pressing issues such as environmental sustainability, healthcare access, and social justice. By collaborating with like-minded organizations and leveraging her resources, she strives to contribute to the collective efforts aimed at creating a more equitable and sustainable world. A notable aspect of her approach to philanthropy is the emphasis on sustainable solutions. Rather than offering temporary relief, she seeks to address the root causes of social issues, fostering long-term impact. This strategic mindset reflects a commitment to creating enduring change, recognizing that sustainable development requires a comprehensive and multifaceted approach. In addition to financial contributions, she understands the importance of leveraging her influence and networks to amplify the impact of her philanthropic endeavors. By engaging with thought leaders, policymakers, and fellow philanthropists, she actively advocates for systemic change, aiming to create an environment where everyone has the opportunity to thrive. Furthermore, she is a firm believer in the power of collective action. Collaborating with diverse stakeholders, she encourages a united front against global challenges. This collaborative approach extends to her mindfulness practices, as she recognizes the interconnected nature of personal well-being and societal welfare. Through workshops and awareness campaigns, she strives to inspire others to embrace mindfulness 
as a catalyst for positive change. Her journey in the intersection of mindfulness and philanthropy is a testament to the transformative potential of aligning personal values with impactful actions. By mindfully navigating the complexities of the modern world, she not only cultivates a sense of inner peace, but also actively contributes to the well-being of others. In an era where self-reflection and altruism are often overshadowed by the clamor of daily life, she stands as a compelling example of how an individual's intentional choices can shape a more compassionate and just world for all. Legacy and Continued Impact Goldie Hawn's legacy is a tapestry woven with the threads of laughter, talent, and a deep commitment to making a positive impact. As a trailblazing actress, producer, and philanthropist, Hawn's influence extends far beyond the silver screen. Her journey from a carefree dancer on Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In to an Academy Award-winning actress and compassionate advocate has left an indelible mark on Hollywood and beyond. One of Hawn's enduring legacies is her ability to infuse joy into every role she undertakes. Whether she was playing the ditzy yet lovable character in Private Benjamin, Please start working! Help me! or the spirited, free-spirited Judy Benjamin in Shampoo, Han's performances were a masterclass in comedic timing and genuine emotion. Audiences connected with her authenticity, and her characters became iconic representations of the spirited, independent woman. Beyond her acting prowess, Goldie Hawn reshaped the landscape of Hollywood by demonstrating that a woman could be both funny and successful, breaking away from traditional stereotypes. In an industry where female roles often played second fiddle, Hawn was a beacon of resilience, proving that humor and intelligence could coexist on the big screen. Her influence paved the way for future generations of actresses to challenge norms and redefine their roles in the industry. Hawn's legacy extends into the realm of family and love. Her enduring relationship with Kurt Russell, one of Hollywood's most beloved couples, has become a proof to commitment and partnership. Blending their families and navigating the challenges of fame with grace, they showcase that love knows no bounds. In a world often obsessed with celebrity breakups, Hawn and Russell's lasting connection stands as a beacon of hope and stability. As the curtains fell on her active acting career, Hawn gracefully transitioned into the role of a producer. Her commitment to storytelling continued through projects like The Banger Sisters, where she not only starred but also lent her expertise behind the scenes. This shift demonstrated her versatility and dedication to contributing to the industry's creative process in multifaceted ways. However, Goldie Hawn's impact goes beyond the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. In the early 2000s, she embraced a new chapter, one that focused on the well-being of children. Founding the Hahn Foundation and launching the Mind Up program, Hahn became a pioneer in promoting mindfulness education for young minds. Her commitment to enhancing children's emotional well-being through mindfulness techniques showcased a profound understanding of the importance of mental health from a young age. The Hahn Foundation's Mind Up program, designed to foster emotional intelligence and reduce stress, has reached countless children globally. By integrating mindfulness practices into education, Hahn aimed to equip the younger generation with tools of resilience and compassion, leaving an indelible mark on the future of mental health awareness. Goldie Hawn's legacy is not just a compilation of accolades, it's a living, breathing testament to the transformative power of laughter, love, and compassion. Through her groundbreaking career, enduring relationships, and impactful philanthropy, she has left an everlasting impression on the entertainment industry and beyond, reminding us all that the true magic of life lies in making a positive difference in the world. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.